So one thing I forget to, forgot to mention, just got that side leveled, but uh, I think I've mentioned is this little dugout here and this trench here is for our sewer. So you gotta think about utilities that you're gonna have coming in. So for this building, we're gonna have obviously electrical like most places, and then we have sewer that we're gonna connect to the municipal sewer supply. And we've got a water supply that's coming from the house. So we're gonna, we're upgrading the meter for the house. We're gonna run a one inch water main into this foundation wall. So you don't need to worry about the water main now because it's gonna come through that basement, which is higher than the ground level. Um, it's gonna come through a patio, a concrete patio here. But for the sewer, but just, you gotta think about that. So if your water's coming underground, you gotta supply for that. It's gotta come up, you know, somewhere. And if you're gonna put it through the wall, you've gotta have a conduit. The conduit needs to be two sizes larger than the line that you're running. So if you're gonna run, you know, an inch water line, then the conduit per code should be a three inch conduit, I believe. I might be wrong on the water supply, but for sure on the sewer, if you're gonna run a four inch main, uh, sorry, not a main, but a four inch sewer line through here, which is what we're gonna to do to connect in, I've gotta put a six inch sleeve in to account for deflection. So the other thing you've gotta think about is your sewer has to be 12 inches below grade at the highest point. So over there is about the highest point. And if we're gonna be five inches on top of these forms, is the base of our slab. We've gotta be below that. So we've gotta be, what is that, seven inches below the top of these forms with our sewer at the minimum. So <clears throat> you've gotta work backwards. So your highest point over there determines your depth and you come through here. And I've got most of this dug out, but not all the way. And then you'll connect over here to wherever your connection is. Ours happens to be this clean out into a six inch cast iron sewer that runs through the center here. This ties into the house's sewer there. So we're gonna end up having to cut this probably about three feet down, down here. You've gotta have a quarter inch drop per foot. So it's things to think about when you're setting up your levels for your foundation. Don't forget about your sewer line and how it's gonna get across. You don't wanna have too deep a trench if you can avoid it because it's just a lot of extra work. You don't wanna have it too shallow because it won't be decoded and then once the foundation set, it's set. So I made this a little bit lower so that when I put the six inch sleeve in here, it'll be encapsulated. And I might still have to dig it down a little bit more. I'm not sure yet. It'll be encapsulated in the concrete so it won't have the footing deflecting on it. Uh, if it's inside the footing, then it won't have any deflection as long as we do, the footing doesn't crack or something. So and the rebar should take care of that. So I just wanted to give that little note about sewer supply. Uh, sewer supply, water supply, and then electrical will come off the house in a form of a sub panel. So we'll probably put it out that same area there and fall along the back and come into a panel. It'll probably be underneath the stairs over here, feeding the whole house. But I have yet to decide that. I don't think I need to yet. Um, I don't have a, a plumber or an electrician, but I will have to hire an electrician. The plumber I can do, plumbing I can do all myself.